to Sumaya's English classroom. If you're watching this channel for the first time, do subscribe for more videos and enable the bell icon to get notified. Now let's see the chapter. This is the first chapter, The Portrait of a Lady, written by Kushwan Singh. In this chapter, Kushwan Singh draws a touching picture of the portrait of a lady that leaves an impact in our minds. So, who is this lady? His grandmother. Here, Kushwan Singh tells about his grandmother. What was his relationship with him? How was her character? Then how was the relation changed after 20 years? And how she died? In this chapter, Kushwan Singh tries to create a verbal picture of his grandma in the reader's minds. In this chapter, he gives a beautiful description of his grandmother. In this video, we will discuss difficult words with meanings and it will be explained. Now let's see the profile of the author. Kushwan Singh is an Indian lawyer, author, diplomat, journalist, and politician. He was noted for his most well-known novel, Train to Pakistan. He was born in Punjab and was awarded with Padma Bhushan in 1974, but he returned the award in 1984 in protest against Operation Blue Star. In 2007, he was awarded Padma Vipushan. Now let's move on to the chapter. Portrait of a lady. What's a portrait? Portrait means a picture. Here, the author gives a beautiful picture of his grandmother in words. It's a pen portrait of his grandmother. He had a very good relation with his grandmother. The chapter, The Portrait of a Lady, tells us about the beautiful bond between the grandmother and the older. Here we can see that the chapter progresses in three phases. What is the first phase? In the first phase, they were in the village. There, they were constantly together. In the second phase, that's there in the city home, when they were taken to the city home. There, even though they were sharing the same room, they talk less and so less. Here came a turn point in their friendship. In the third phase, we have seen the author went to university for higher studies. Then he had his own room. Here, their friendship became weaker. And the common link between the grandma and this older snap means broken suddenly and completely. At this time, the grandma became quiet and calm. Then she spent her time on spinning wheel and feeding sparrows. Let's start with the first paragraph. My grandmother, like everybody's grandmother, was an old woman. She had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years that I had known her. People said that she had once been young and pretty and had even had a husband, but that was hard to believe. My grandmother's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. He wore a big turban and loose-fitting clothes. His long white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least a hundred years old. He didn't look the sort of person who would have a wife or children. He looked as if he could only have loads and loads of grandchildren. As for my grandmother, being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. She often told us of the games she used to play as a child. 
that seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part, and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us. Let's go to the paragraph in detail. My grandmother, like everybody's grandmother, was an old woman. The lesson gives us an innocent start. She had been old and wrinkled. What's the meaning of wrinkled? Wrinkled means having lines or folds on the face of the old one. He had known her for past 20 years. He was told by other people that she had once been pretty and beautiful and had a husband. Her husband is his grandfather. His picture is there hung on the wall in the drawing room. Where is it hung? It is hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. Mantelpiece is the shelf above the fireplace. So there, whose picture is hung? His grandfather's picture. Okay, he wore a big turban, loose fitted clothes. His long white beard reached his chest. Okay, he also looked old, at least a hundred years old. While looking at the picture, we can't imagine that he had a wife or children. His looks are only of grandfather having lots of grandchildren, but not having the look of a husband or father. The thought was almost revolting, means he cannot imagine that she was once a pretty young lady. What's the meaning of that expression? The thought was almost revolting. That means the idea was disgusting. He can't believe, he can't imagine that she was once a pretty young lady. She often tells the children about the games that she used to play when she was a child. It seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us. That seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us. So that seemed quite absurd. Absurd means ridiculous or foolish. Okay, so we don't believe that she was once a child. So we don't believe all these stories. They can't imagine that when she was a child like them. Undignified means not respectable. That is, so the children, especially Kushwan Singh, took it as fables. They are like fables of prophets. Fables means stories with moral lessons. They, the children, like to believe that her stories are fables or stories that are not real. You know who are prophets? Prophets means God's messengers. Okay, let's move on to the paragraph 2, second paragraph. She had always been sure and fat and slightly bent. Okay, how was her physical appearance? She had always been sure and fat and slightly bent. She was slightly bent, means a little bent, bent forward. Then her face was a crisscross of wrinkles running from every word everywhere. Crisscross means crisscross means intersecting lines. Okay. Her face is full of wrinkles. Wrinkles, we know that what's wrinkle? Wrinkle having lines or folds on the face. Okay. So the author can't imagine that she was once a young lady when he is looking at disappearance of this grandmother. No, we were certain she had always been as we had known her. Old, so terribly old that she could not have grown older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years. She was so terribly old that she couldn't grow older. That much she is old. And she has the same look for 20 years. 
she could never have been pretty he can't imagine that his grandmother was pretty once he remembers that she had been in the same age and appearance for 20 years but she was always beautiful even though she is not pretty she was always beautiful so here beautiful in the sense of a character or behavior he hobbled he hobbled about the house in the spotless white with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop and the other telling the bits of her rosary she hobbled hobble means walk in an awkward way you might have observed the way of walking of an old one that's what hobbled what's bits of rosary a string of beads for keeping count of number of chants made of a religious prayer okay that is what a string of beads means rosary okay rosary so now have you got her appearance just imagine with me an old lady hobbling about the house wearing spotless clean white dress with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop and the other hand she had her rosary what is she doing with that she is praying in silence her silver locks were scattered untidily untidily means not at all neat what's lock locks means hair okay over her pale pucker face okay over her pale pucker face and her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayer her silver locks are scattered untidily silver locks means her hair hair is white in color okay as she is too old okay over her pale puckered face her face is pale puckered means what puckered means wrinkled okay on her pale puckered face means wrinkled face what scattered her silver hairs were scattered untidily over her face wrinkled face and her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayer what's the meaning of inaudible which couldn't be heard okay she is doing her silent prayer yes she was beautiful she was like the window landscape in the mountains an expanse of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment beautiful means in characters she was like the window landscape how is the window landscape it's beautiful white in color she is like an expanse of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment what's the meaning of uh, expanse expanse means wide extent serenity means calmness contentment mental satisfaction or mental peace okay he compares her to the window landscape in the mountain it's just like that she was a live example of a pure white and a peaceful being now we have seen a beautiful white grandma okay why in the sense of her spotless white dress and her character actually she was leading a peaceful life residing her prayers counting on rosary okay my dear students this is the end of part one of the chapter the portrait of a lady we will meet soon in the next video with the second part of the chapter thank you